Hey guys, welcome back to Campbell Workshop. Today we are making Asta. I have seen lots of Asta at the park and people's front garden in this autumn. I would like to capture the moment of beauty with my paper flower. Before we start, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button below so you won't miss any of our new tutorials. Take out a 18 gauge wire and wrap it with green flower tape and bend a loop on the top. Then we need two pieces of yellow crepe paper in 8x1 cm and one piece of 8x2 cm. Cut the 8x1 yellow crepe paper into small fringes. Add a drop of hot glue onto the loop and wrap it with the 2 cm yellow crepe paper. Then we offset the 1 cm paper 2 mm higher than the center so the fringes are pointing out. And we can expand the fringes a little. Now we move on to the petals. Take out the lavender crepe paper and cut the petals according to the template. It is a very small detailed template. A pair of small scissors is highly recommended. After following the template, I will also adjust the petals by eye to have a clean up. Shaping time. Trim a piece of petal in 2 cm long. Take a pair of tweezers to slightly gather the bottom and curl the top petals. You can see the petals have expanded automatically and we have left the bottom for attachment. Then we can start attaching the petals to the flower center with some hot glue. Attach them layer by layer. Add more petals when you see a big gap. I've done about two layers. After that, we add some darker brown to the flower center, remember only in the middle part, not the fringes. We are almost done. Let's add a big drop of hot glue at the bottom, so you can have a relatively round bottom. While we are waiting for the hot glue to cool down, we can cut some small bottom leaves from your scrap paper and we add the leaves one by one with yuhu glue to cover the hot glue bottom now we are going to work on the budding flowers Take another 24 gauge wrapped wire and bend a loop on the top. Add a hot glue ball on the top. While it's drying, keep rotating the wire so you can get a rounded shape. When it's almost set, you can trim it into a shorter wire, about 10 centimeters. 
Then we take out more scrap green paper to cut more of the bottom leaves. But this time we will wrap the budding flower with them. Attach the bottom leaves with yuho glue and mold into the hot glue shape. Cut the excessive paper on the top. Now we are going to cut some tiny thin leaves from the scrap paper. You just need to cut the paper into a very thin long rough leaf shapes for adding some details to the branch. I basically just cut the paper into different thin rectangles and give them a pointy tip. Take your budding flower out and wrap the tiny leaves with a flower tape onto the stamp. I have also cut some leaves for decoration. Make sure when you cut it, the grain is straight. Otherwise, you will not able to shape the leaves. Then we can start putting every element together. Wrapping the flowers, budding flowers and some paper leaves with flower tape. And we are done. Thank you for watching our video and I hope you like it. If you like it, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned for our weekly tutorials. And all our templates are available on our Etsy store. Check them out. See you guys next week.